Hey guys, welcome back. I wanted to share uh, the weekend with y'all. So if y'all are down to watch how our weekend was like, go ahead and hit that like and subscribe button and go ahead and comment. Yep. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you for all the support you guys continue giving me. Thank you for all the love that you show as well. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't yet. All right. Well, thank you so much. And let's get on with the show. Love you guys. Hey, y'all. Welcome back. Hey. Oh, gosh, guys. It's been a while. I've been missing y'all. Y'all already know it's been a while, but your girl has been working. You know, I'm taking this new year so seriously and personal. What? What do you mean by that? But why so personal? I don't know. Like, I just feel like if I didn't, if you guys didn't watch my last vlog, I just feel like this year is more like an agenda. Like things that was way overdue, probably two years ago, way overdue, that I need to work on. So that planner that you see me purchase on the last vlog, your girl has been filling that crap up to the T. Okay, I've been working, um, writing down stuff and then actually falling through with all of the stuff that I've been adding on there. You know what I'm saying? And I just honestly feel like when you write stuff down, it's just like you manifesting it to um, in the universe and it actually is going to happen no matter what. So either talking about it or being about it or writing it down, either way it's going to happen. It just all depends on you, of course. So it's noon, guys. It's been a while, so the kids are in school, um, and the maintenance person I've been waiting for since two weeks ago finally showed up. I think I was probably drinking too much or probably under the influence, guys, because for some apparent reason, I kind of panicked because I told you all the rats are back, right? And this time when I heard them, um, I don't know if they're right, rats, mice, squirrels, whatever. They could be whatever. But they were just grinding, like digging um, in the attic. And it just sounded like they were going through the roof, like about to fall out. And I'm panicking because I've seen a crack in the ceiling. But the crack wasn't there before. And I honestly feel like I was the one that added the crack up in the ceiling, y'all. Oops. What? Because I was just trying to... Um, I use my broom to poke the um, ceiling so that I can scare the critters off. You know what I'm saying? So all that digging that they were doing to help, to stop them at least, to scare them a little bit. So now um, I decided to do my own hair, y'all. $5 every week is not ideal for me. So I can do it myself. I've watched exactly what products that she used and my products that I use are so much better than hers. And the only thing that she really does is like wash. She barely puts treatment in my hair. She washes it, conditions it, blow dry my hair, and then flat iron it. That's basically it. So I'm heading to uh, Family Dollar so I can give me a sulfate free um, shampoo and conditioner because i'm not i can't use any just regular any just any regular product due to the brazilian treatment that i did it only allows me to use sulfate free products in my hair so i'm basically here y'all at the family dollar so this morning i was a bit frustrated because the landlord doesn't follow directions at all you tell them that to notify you when the maintenance man is showing up they don't notify you the maintenance man pulls up before they even notify you and you don't know who's knocking at your door because you set up no appointments with nobody and i sent them off their way because i ain't getting no notification letting me know that something's coming like i don't like that shit and watch your fucking property but that the tenant know that lives there that they're showing up Hello. 
How are you? Good. Thank you. <laughs> Have a good day. I left Family Dollar and I only spent $19.33. I think that's great. And my hair is like shedding. And I know that's normal, but I'm not used to it shedding so much because I barely wear it out. It's always in a wig. So um, I honestly feel like it needs like a protein treatment. So I will be using that L'Oreal, um, what is it called? Acid, something like that. I still have some left at home, so I'll show you what I'm talking about. I got the, these eye patches. I've never used them before, but I see a lot of people are rant, um, ranting about these things. So I wanted to try it myself, and it was only like, what, how much was it? I think it was only $3 for three pairs. Yeah, it was $3, and the um, the drink, wow, it's two forty. dollars The energy drink, I got me the same energy drink from last time and the only expensive thing on here is the eye patch everything else was um because i'm going to do a, a oil treatment in my hair so i'll put this in tonight so by tomorrow i'll wash it out they both were a dollar 25 and I brought me a concealer. I love um, LA concealer. And I got the deep color. Um, and that one was $2.25. And then, no, the most expensive thing to be honest with you were the, uh, were the sulfate shampoos from Garnier, the cheapest one. They were only $4 each. So that's what I got. They say sulfate free on them. That's what I need, basically. It doesn't have to match the um, deep conditioner that I'm about to apply in my hair. So yeah, guys, I just wanted to, what the heck is wrong with these people? I just needed a different scenery, y'all. I was home, and I'm like, you know what? Let me get out the house. Let me get some fresh air. And I ordered um, some groceries online last night to pick up for today. Since early this morning, I scheduled my appointment for a pickup. And I did not um, go and pick it up this morning because I just felt like I didn't feel like doing anything. I went to, after dropping the kids off, I went to Dunkin' Donuts, got me a cup of coffee. That's probably why I'm energized and I'm wanting a different scenery, you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm on the opposite side of the road because it's like hills and homes and too much going on on that side of the road. It's people on the side of the road. Friday. 
I don't know where you're at, but I know it's bad everywhere. It's just been raining here a lot, and the weather's been up and down. With the cold weather, some days it's not so cold, and some days it's extremely cold here in Florida. But I know everybody's weather is so bipolar. So bipolar, so. Yeah, but I don't like the way my scalp feels. It's like, I told her that she can be like, really aggressive when it comes to my scalp because it was just my hair was just so dirty you know what I'm saying and um, when it's not a sister washing your hair they really don't understand how sister scalps could be like African American scalps can be like you know what I'm saying because we don't wash our hair often So, um, yeah, like she had on these fake nails, and I'm like, girl, you some fake nails in my scalp. She's like, you know, some people, they just don't like it, so I get afraid, but I'm not those people. I'm telling you to do it, so just do it. She did not do it, y'all. And she just seems so irritated. Like, when you tell her what to do and how to do it, she gets mad. Like, when she was doing the, um, the Brazilian treatment, she wasn't mad, but her mood shifted. Like, you can tell it was just so different. She was putting the um, the Brazilian treatment in my hair. You know the Brazilian treatment, ladies? Like, sis, sisters, I don't know if this happens in Caucasian's hair because I don't have that type of hair. It burns. It burns like a relaxer. Okay, so they don't tell you this when you're about to get a Brazilian treatment. Do not, do not, I repeat, if you have a um, a sew-in that you removed like probably three days ago, let your scalp relax and do not itch your scalp at all, at all, because you will feel it. You will feel it it's like it's like a relaxer you know what relaxers when you put it in your hair you're not supposed to scratch like the day like a couple of weeks before that's how the brazilian treatment is so that shit was just like burning to a point where i was just like um it wasn't burning my scalp it was just tingling it but my ears my my the top of my ears right here was burning i was like uh do you have vaseline that um you can put on top of my ears because it is burning. So she she chuckles and she's like, um, no. I said, you don't have Vaseline. And she's like, oh, let me check. Bitch, you're a stylist. You got to have some type of Vaseline. And then she stops and she puts a little tab on top of my ears, bro. Like, And I was like, okay, that's one strike. You know what I'm saying? And then um, her mouth was, I wanted to give her a peppermint at that point, y'all. Ain't nobody got time for that. Cause you know how somebody's breath, like you can tell that she probably didn't have no breakfast, right? Because you can smell it. You know how like when your mouth is so dry in the morning, like the first thing you did is, even if you brushed your teeth in the morning, y'all, you know how it is when you brush your teeth in the morning you didn't even have a drink of water or coffee your breath starts sinking for a while you know what i'm saying so you have to like figure it out and make it work you know and then um let me park right here when thunder rolls go indoors Damn. I'm trying to fix the steering wheel and that shit was locked. <laughs> but like I was saying, y'all, uh, um, yeah, that's strike three. When your breath stinks and you're breathing, your um, clients can smell that. So that's not great customer service. And then strike three, um, the next day when I went, she was, I just felt like she was rushing. She was rushing. 
she didn't do what i told her to do i told her to use her nails to um scrub a little more when washing my hair she didn't do that so yeah that's basically it so guys i'm just gonna chill out sit out and just chill and just enjoy the water i'm gonna show you what my view looks Putting the groceries away. Yeah. I'm just not for it, but there's a lot of things that will melt if I don't do it now. So let's do it. Let's see how fast I can get it done. Alexa, play my hot playlist. Your playlist, hot on Amazon Music. <laughs> It wasn't a lot of work, y'all. I didn't purchase a lot of things like how I usually do because I'm like, I'm not doing that no more because I realized that the more stuff I buy, they just sit there and I and they get wasted. Like there was a lot of um, vegetable stuff that I had in the refrigerator that were spoiled and it had the refrigerator stinking so, so bad. I was slipping the other day and I was like, oh gosh, I got to clean this out. So... That's what I'll be doing this time. So what I do is like when I know when the kids are going to be home, like on the weekends, I'm going to start doing grocery shopping that way. Like Friday morning, once I drop them off to school, I'm going to go pick up the groceries and then cook on the weekends. And then when they come home from school on the weekdays, they're usually not hungry. They just be snacking on stuff. So that's how I'm going to handle the situation next time. Because my kids are like... Picky eaters. I'm sure every kid out there is a picky eater, but jeez. It's to a point where I'm just like, damn, I'm wasting a lot of money and these things are just sitting here getting spoiled. You know what I'm saying? So, so what we're about to do is we're about to oil our scalp so we can wash our hair tomorrow. I know you've seen the um, the Garnier that I did purchase, the Fructis. Is that what it's called, fruits? Something. Garnier, okay? Y'all seen that shampoo and you see where it says sulfate? That's what it has to say if you're about to do the um, Brazilian treatment. Even though if you don't have the Brazilian treatment in your hair or not, you can use the same product because basically what sulf sulfate-free is basically, it doesn't have all the extra... Um, ingredients that's added on there and it makes your hair feel a little lighter and your scalp so much cleaner you get what i'm saying so that's basically a difference to me at least so i already have castor oil in this so i'm about to put the two oils that i showed you earlier which is the coconut oil and the olive oil in here and i'll mix them up together and then i'm going to put it in my scalp it's just like screaming for moisture some um, shampoo and conditioner when I can find it. All right, let me take out my earrings. It's nothing complicated, guys. I usually just... And that's why I put it in this type of um, container because it has the tip 
where you could easily add it in there instead of pouring it in. anymore. I'm gonna put a wig. I just I'll just put my hair in a ponytail and not braid my hair at all. Because I noticed that some girls they don't even braid their hair under the wigs. They just put it in a ponytail and then put the uh, stocking cap on top of it. A no color. Damn she called me. I'll be right back y'all. Hello? Hey, how are so I'm you? I'm finally done off of that um, very important call. My scalp is loving me right now. It feels so flipping good. Oh my God. <laughs> it feels so flipping good. I think I put way too much, but I don't care. I ain't got nowhere to go. And it's just doing its thing, y'all. I just feel it all over. Oh my God. Look, look, look. This has always been a struggle for me. Ever since, I don't know if y'all sisters know, like back in the days, how the pigtails were in style. If y'all don't know what I mean by that, um, the micro braids, like they were real tiny and they used to grip your edges. And that was just the style back in the day. So you'll just get it up in the front only. And then in the back, you'll get like sewing weaves. Like it could either be curly or straight or whatever. And that used to be my go-to all the time because I used to stay in the trend. I used to try to stay in the trend and be that girl. But being that girl comes with a lot of consequences. So, and I think ever since then, my edges has not ever been the same, but it's okay. It's okay. There's things to make it better. There's oil, there's vitamins for it. So we're going to make it do what it do. But I think I'm going to rock my natural hair until... It gets hot again like until march i think that's when it starts getting hot here in florida i don't know the weather's just been strange lately so who knows when it's gonna ever get hot but i'm just loving this weather i ain't tripping but i'm just saying how long i will be rocking my hair for it just feels great waking up and i've been committed to wrapping my hair every night y'all i'm like who are you is it because it's the new year girl is it because it's a new year, guys? But yeah, guys, here's my um, plan I was telling y'all about. I've been writing. I've been adding stuff on here. I ain't playing with you. I've been completing everything, and it's just been working for me. I'm just so proud of myself. Um, the house just been staying clean lately, you know, and it's just been feeling good being home because, you know, when you have a messy home, nobody wants to be in a messy home. And it just messes with my mental health. So I just been doing, I just been doing a lot, y'all. I finally built the computer table in the kids' room. I don't know if I showed you guys, but I will go in there soon and show y'all what the setup looked like so far. <laughs> and the kids been loving it. So yeah, I'm about to check these emails and get my life together real quick. So I'll see y'all when I see y'all. Don't stay away for too long Don't go to bed I'll make a cup of coffee for your head I'll get you up and going out of bed I'm happy that you're here with me I'm sorry if I tear up When me and you we younger You would always make me cheer up Taking goofy videos while watching through the park You would jump into my arms every time you had a bar
asleep I don't wanna pass away I've been thinking of our future Cause I never see the stakes I don't know why this has happened But I probably deserve it I try to do my best But you know that I'm not perfect I've been Bring for forgiveness you've been Bring for my heart Y'all, can I tell y'all something? I'm hooked on t TikTok. I'm hooked on. I'm hooked on TikTok. But anyways, guys. Um, yeah. So I'm about to comb my hair because it's about that time to go pick up the babies. It's Friday, y'all. It's Friday. What y'all got going on for this weekend? Me, nada, nada. But yeah, let's get out of here. Oh God, <sighs> my back hurt, my back hurt, but let me comb my hair, put this hair on. My ends need some more oil, at least I think so. so. Well, when I get home, I'm just gonna um, just gonna uh, put it in a um, add it in the um, I'm gonna put my hair in a satin cap. And go about it that way, so it could be. So the whole strands of my hair can get oiled up. All right, let's get out of here. All right, I gotta put this wagon back. Put it back. So what I'm gonna do is leave it. It was about five minutes ago When I seen the hottest chick that a young and never seen before I say yo, tell the girls I wanna meet up On second time that ain't the way to go I gotta give a game proper Spit it so she get it, there she is, I gotta stop her Or should I talk about a smile? Or what about a style? I'm out of time, she's out the door, I gotta go for mine Or should I talk about a smile? What about a style? I'm out of time. She's out the door. I gotta go for mine. Cause I don't see you.
making noodles for the kids i just got through eating my portion of it so i'm just chilling i um, will be watching youtube for a couple of minutes while i edit a video that i created for y'all so stay tuned for that um you will see that video before you see this vlog anyway um it's about the papa pal gig work i was telling y'all about so it's full of information and i'm so excited to start editing it so i can just Download it on my channel so you guys can watch it. All right, I'll see y'all later. Ready, I'm crawling for you, and I'm stuck in the loop. Ready, I'm crawling for you, and I'm stuck in the loop. Ready, I'm crawling for you. Don't be calling. And I'm calling you because this is a weird situation. I just um, witnessed that people were in my backyard moving the tires. So I'm, yeah, they're grabbing the shit. So something was weird. So I, um, I see them walking in the backyard. So I'm like, what the fuck is going on? What is this shit? 
So then I opened the back door and I'm asking them what the fuck they doing. They said the fucking landlord told them that, oh, um, they're supposed to come over here and clean the shit. The fucking landlord ain't calling me and tell me shit. So I'm calling the fucking motherfuckers. They're not even answering the phone. And then I'm texting them and they talking about, oh, yes, they did send these people. I'm finna call the fucking cops because they didn't even fucking tell me this shit. I don't have time for that. Yes, did you send guys out here to um, clean up the backyard without my consent? Okay, that's what I kind of figured out because I know you guys wouldn't do something like this. And they're saying that someone prompted them to come out here to clean this um, mess up. And I'm like, this is not mess. This is my belongings. It's a company called something about lawn. Hello? Yes. Which one of y'all speak English? You speak English? Let me apologize to you. Do you understand why I'm mad? She didn't call me. I didn't know. I didn't know you guys no, were coming. No, when me, when me come in, says, well, they, well, it's not your fault. I know. She did not call me on the phone to tell me these people are coming to clean your yard. Nothing. No habla, nothing with me. Okay. So, so listen. So, when I see you coming, I'm like, yeah, man. what the heck is going yeah, on? My, my, when I talk, I talk to... So, guys, let me tell y'all what that was all about. So, um, basically I seen this guy cause you know, like the property manager, she is horrible. She does not communicate. So when they want to do something on a property, nobody knows what's going on until people are out here. You know what I'm saying? So then I see one of the workers go in my backyard. So then I'm looking out cause my backyard, my window, let me show y'all. The kitchen window is connected to the backyard, so that's where you see everything. So I open the blinds, right? So I open the blinds and I'm like, this guy is going in our backyard. So I have a neighbor behind me, right? So we share backyards. So I'm like, okay, let's see who backyard he's going to because maybe he's here for the neighbor, my neighbor that's um, behind me. But no, he goes straight to my side and the side that he's going to there's tires stacked up. So these are tires of my friends and these are tires of the kid's father tires. You know what I'm saying? And then there's other stuff, the kid's toys. Bless you, Poppy. And, um, you know, my plant stuff, my soil stuff, all type of stuff there. So um, I unlock the door fast and say, hey, what are you doing? He's like, oh, we were ordered um, by the landlord to come out here and do cleaning. I said, what? So me, I'm, they're hesitating because first of all, it's a language barrier. They don't speak good English. So then I'm like, oh, hell no. And I wasn't dressed appropriately. So I run in my room, try to find something appropriate to wear so I can go out there. So thank God for two phones because I grabbed my other phone so I can record their, um, as you can see on the video, what I showed. So I can get um, the license plate and then the company that they're with. So in the meantime, on my other phone, I'm trying to contact the landlord and he's like, oh, text. I said, this is not a texting matter. You need to call me. You know what I'm saying? So, um, so I'm calling him. I'm calling him finally on the third or the fourth call. On the first, um, on the fourth call, he answers the phone. So I'm like, did you send so-and-so? Cause I'm reading out the company's name that came out. Cause what they're doing is they're loading their truck with my items in my backyard. So they're putting all the tires in the back of their trunk so they can go with it. You know, so what would you automatically think? You get what I'm saying? Like you didn't get no type of communication, no email, no one called you to tell you this was happening. You know what I'm saying? So what are you automatically gonna think? These people came out here to steal my shit. So that's what was going on in my head. So I'm like quick, my fingers are like dialing literally 911. I'm about to call cops on these people. So then I'm like, who sent you here? And then because I couldn't get in contact with the property manager or whoever I needed to speak to that ordered them to do this, finally, when I got the landlord on the line, the landlord had the nerve to tell me that, oh, no, I don't know that. I didn't order nobody to come out there to do any cleaning. I said, oh, really? I said, okay, thank you. So then um, 
as I'm saying that, the other guy that was there to do the cleaning up, the employee, the worker, he finally got the lady on the line, which was the property manager that informed him to do this. So then he's speaking to her in Spanish because, of course, these people don't speak um, English at all. And some of them did understand what I'm saying and some of them didn't. But when I involved police in it, that's when everybody wants to speak all at once. You know what I'm saying? Because at first, when I didn't involve police, everybody ignored me. They were like, oh, whatever. You know what I'm saying? So then, um, so then I finally got on the phone with the um, property manager. She was rude as hell. She was like, well, 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 I wanted to say, who are you talking to? I wanted to go off on her like that. But this is her second time doing this. She did this when they were um, coming out to put in the windows. If you watch my, if you follow me, then you've seen that they were installing new windows on, um, throughout the whole house, throughout the whole units. And um, that's the shit that she does. And I need to know if there's like a legal case in that matter because I recorded our conversation and her conversation we had was very nonchalant she was like well ma'am sorry is not gonna fix the issue the fact that you sent these people out here to clean the yard and you did not tell anyone you did not even contact the people that live here that this will be happening like um hello ma'am what is your problem like property managers that's what they do they're supposed to communicate regardless if you're going to be in um any property any property you need to let the people that know that lives there what is going to happen and what day is it that is going to happen and that sort of stuff you know what i'm saying because what if there's an inconvenience to a point where these workers that you sent out to go do the job they can't do it i'm just sick of this lady i'm sick of her and i just have a bad taste in my mouth for this lady and it's just it's not gonna turn out good for her it's not because when i finally meet her i got a couple of words that's gonna boy <laughs> she is going to hate me she gonna call me whatever she want to call me a bi or a angry karen or whatever she want to call me but that's basically what it's gonna be i gotta do my hair y'all gotta wash it look at the oil from last night so yeah i'm gonna end up doing that today i just got through making um a wrap a wrap um, sandwich, well, a burrito, I want to call it. More like a burrito because I stuffed it with mushrooms, eggs, and bacon for the kids with some avocados. So, yeah, so sorry to start off the vlog, Saturday vlog this way, but I'm calm now. I am calm and collective right now, you know, and I apologize to the workers because I was going off on them. I said, hey, I apologize. I did not call the cops. I didn't know what was going on. Because I asked him, which one of y'all speak English? You know what I'm saying? And then they were like, oh, a little bit. And the other guy, he was just mad. But I apologized to him. I said, look, it's not you. I didn't understand what was going on. The lady never called us. She never said anything. And this is what she does all the time. You know, she doesn't communicate with anybody. So that's why I was going off. And I said, you should understand where I'm coming from because you're grabbing my stuff. You know what I'm saying? And no one is telling me why. He was like, oh, I knocked on your door and everything like that. And I said, I didn't hear nobody knocking on my door. I didn't hear anybody knocking on my door. So anyway, I'll see y'all when I am done washing my hair. I am done washing my hair, y'all. Looking wild. I just got through blow drying it. So now I'm just making me, I'm making me a mean salad, y'all. This salad, you're like, why the salad so big? Cause that is for me and the kids. I'm just waiting until the eggs are done boiling and I'm gonna um, slice the eggs up in here. And that's what we're gonna have in the meantime while I get dinner ready. Mm, yum, yum, yum. I cannot wait. I cannot wait to throw down. I love a lot of ranch. I use this type of ranch, but any ranch would do. Hidden Valley one. And I add it in here. I forgot to add Parmesan um, butter, but I add the cheese on there. I think that's enough. With the blended cheese and the croutons. So, yeah, and I use romaine um, lettuce. Mm -hmm. What are you going to do now, girl? Oh, 
mad. <laughs> Y'all, I want some coffee. I'm fighting the urge not to make some coffee, but I want it so bad. I got through eating plantains, sweet plantains at that with some fried eggs. And coffee will go so good with it. So, so good. Remember, that was one of my New Year's resolution where I would stop drinking coffee. This is killing me. Killing me. This is killing me softly, y'all. <laughs> but I don't have much coffee left because I told myself that once I run out of coffee, I'm not buying anymore. Like, this is it. And I still have a little bit left, so I'm going to make the last batch of so long coffee. But yeah, it's Sunday, and I'm having church with Miss Kim, and just got through making some breakfast for the kids, for me and the kids. And we're not gonna be doing anything. I just, Alex also got through just reading me a book. I'm trying to do that with him every weekend because reading a book is important, I think at least. And I got to take care of my plants because they're looking wonky. So yeah, nothing popping. Ain't nothing popping today, so. So I got rid of all the um the dead uh leaves that were just hanging around the plants. Now the plant looks so much cleaner and smoother looking. Um yeah. And there's some plants I need to get rid of, but I don't know what this monstera is doing, but it's doing something. I removed the dead leaves off of here. And these are for the ants. Remember what I showed you, the ant bait? It actually works, y'all. So I don't know what's going on with this money plant, but it's, it's done. So I just have to buy me another one. So I'll get rid of this one. I haven't watered yet. This is my snow Deffenbachia. I love Deffenbachias, y'all, because it gives that tropical look. And I love that. So that is one plant I need to touch up on. It had like thrips. If you don't know what thrips are, it's like a disease for plants. You see, it's all over the plant. And when that happens, you want to keep it far away from other plants because it can um, it can spread it to all the other plants. And I hope that's not what it did to my Scandapsis, my Exotica, because those leaves were beautiful. But there's some dead leaves up there. 
that I just might just trim this part. I left it up there for Christmas because it looked Christmassy to me, but I will be cutting it so I can make more of it. So guys, the coffee is brewing. I think it's been like two days that I haven't had coffee. So I'm guessing that as long as I don't have coffee every day or I don't know, like every day, then I'm, I should be fine, right? And it's been two days that I haven't had coffee. I don't know if I had coffee Friday, y'all. Did I? I don't think I had coffee Friday. No, I didn't. So I'm going two days without it. So that's the longest I've ever been without coffee, y'all. Oh my God. <laughs> like, girl, who are you? Who am I? <laughs> but yeah, yeah. I hope you guys like the... Um, the Papa Pal video that I created for y'all and I hope that it was helpful. And yeah, and I'm shocked that in these states they are paying the amount that they are paying because it takes a lot, you know, out of you to be dealing with another person, let alone a person that age because, you know, they require a lot. So, that's awesome. Hopefully you were able to get through it. Now, tomorrow, I have a big day. Tomorrow, I will be doing laundry, going to the pawn shop. And, um, and I think that's basically it. I think I have one more thing in my planner that I forgot. Oh, yeah, and I have to go return something. So I have a lot of things to do tomorrow, but it's all good. It's all good. I wanted to go to that store that's called something about decor, home decor. We have one here in Fort Myers. And um, I heard that they have like a good sale there. Oh, dang, I forgot to go put the plant in the shower. I'll be right back. This one is screaming for help. The Deffenbachia, I haven't been taking care of it. And look how it's looking. And I put these here because I have this here. The soil is a little dry, but not to the extreme. So I'm gonna go put this in the shower to water it so it can do its thing. One stick plant, look, it has so much thrips. Oh my God. Eat the plantains, guys. Or I'm gonna take the phone. So you gotta soak the plant with the spray, guys. So the whole plant is soaked with it and I let it sit for as long as it can stay, like, cause I end up forgetting about it in the sink. But when I finally see that it's dried up, then I rinse it out. All right, I got my coffee. I added milk in it because I used the Starbucks coffee. Cause as you can see, I ran out of the um, original one. Um, and and I didn't have no creamer and with the um, Starbucks coffee you gotta have something added along with it like a creamer or something so I couldn't do it without adding something so I added milk doesn't taste bad at all it tastes good my daughter drinks out of everything she doesn't even drink out of cups and guys, anymore and she put that she put that How in the ghetto. She put that just in here. Just me and my son, we drink out of cups, but this one here just drinks. <laughs> and Lily put this Thank in God my- Thank God we don't get visitors Mommy. like that, because just imagine. <laughs> Mommy, Lily put this in my cup. Oh my gosh. Look at this. I'm like, who did she get this from? Because I don't do that. I don't do that at all. 
not that the fact that it's not well just in case of visitors we don't get visitors so it's okay to do it but not okay at the same time because i don't want people to think in that oh my gosh this girl drinks out of gallons <laughs> but we're just sitting here chilling just watching a couple of videos we ain't doing nothing on a sunday i just got through feeding them this is actually my plate i made like beef stew um with yellow rice and mixed vegetables and then the kids wants to make um, cookies now. So I told them that if they eat their um, all their dinner, all their food, then we can make some cookies. And because they did that, I have to keep my promise. So we're gonna go ahead and make these um, Christmas cookies that I did not think that we still had in the freezer. So yeah, somebody's excited about it. <laughs> this is what the cookies look like. So yeah, I'm about to put it, throw it under the oven and let it do, and let it do its thing. But they're so soft, bro. Oh, you record it? Oh. oh! So soft. Thank you. That's so soft. And cheese.